we're looking at today, fractions. Oh, fractions, yeah. That word fraction comes from a Latin word. So the English language, the English language, isn't really a language. It's kind of like a whole bunch of languages put together. And Latin is one of those that we get words from. And we actually get... Latin is a language we all speak. The word fraction from the word frangie. Frangie. Oh, what? Right. And we get the word fraction from the word frangi, which is Latin for break into pieces. Do we need to write that? Or frangi. Right. So it means to break into pieces, which is what a fraction is, isn't it? Fractions are pieces of things. Now I've got a whole bunch of sentences here, a whole bunch of sentences that use words that come from that word frangi. Alright? that are all linked a little bit. Now, they might not be necessarily maths linked, but they all come from this one word. Okay? So, the first word, the first word is fragile. 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 The first word is fragile. The fragile vase smashed into 100 pieces when it landed into the okay. Alright, so it was fragile. It comes from frangie. Alright, same place. Alright, after the window was broken, several fragments, oh. <laughs> I thought it was pieces, uh. alright, so these are words that are coming from that Latin word for NG, so fragments, fraction, what, okay, we found on the floor, several fragments were found on the floor, alright, she fractured her leg, Alright, fractured means breaks. The computer was running slowly and needed to be defragmented. Defragmented. Okay. And the elderly gentleman was becoming very fragile in his old age. So all of these words come from here, which is where we get the word fraction from. A fraction! We'll get into the need. And the fraction has a numerator. And a denominator. It has a numerator and it has a denominator. Denominator. Yeah, one of the ways that you can remember these right, is numerator has a U in it. A U for up. A U for up. So numerator is the up one. It's the top. It's the top number. Denominator starts with a D. As does down. All right. So denominator is your down number. Okay. You good with that? So let's have a look at the parts of the fraction. What tells you? Which bit tells you how many parts the whole is divided up into? Well, that's actually the denominator. Denominator. All right. So that bottom number tells you how many parts total we're going to have in our whole. In our whole. Okay. Okay. The numerator is what tells us how many we've got selected. The horizontal line on the separator. Okay. It's called the. So we've got the. Nah, we've got the denominator, which is our bottom number, which is the bottom number, tells us how many parts total we've got. The numerator is the top number. It tells us how many bits we're working with. Alright, so if you take um, a pizza, you go down to Domino's, you get a pizza, they cut it into eight parts, so the denominator becomes eight. You might eat two bits of that pizza, so your numerator is two. Okay? This bit here, the horizontal line separating the numerator and the denominator, the it does have a special name. It's not called the triangle. Horizontal triangle. No, it's not called that. Ow. Or right. so sometimes, guys, shush. Sometimes we might call it a fraction bar. Sometimes we might call it a divide sign. But it's actually got a proper name, and the proper name is vinculum. What? Like old. A vin. A vinculum. 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 Alright. It's called vinculum. So it does have a proper name. 
Okay. We've got a fraction here that is either common or it's called something else and it's less than the whole. That is a proper fraction. That one's a proper fraction. Okay. It is less than the whole. So it's like two slices out of the whole pizza. Okay. So the numerator in this instance is less than the denominator. Less than the denominator. Okay. Another type of fraction that we have is called an improper fraction. It's an improper fraction. This time you've got more. So that might be the pizza plus two slices of someone else's. Alright? So now the numerator is bigger or larger than the denominator. Okay? We can represent both proper and improper fractions. On a number line. Okay. Here we have a number line. Alright, each bit. So between 1 and 2. Between 0 and 1. Between 0 and minus 1. Between minus 1 and minus 2. Each of those bit has, bits have been separated into four segments. What do we call it when there's four segments? Four segments. <laughs> okay, okay. Alright, so that's what we're looking at. And we've got an example of that number line name. Now, this bit's really important. This bit's actually really important, especially for future years. Uh, and when you get up to like year 9, year 10, year 11, year 12. This point is really important to remember. Okay? Whole numbers. Whole numbers. Like 1, 2, 10, 20, 25. Can all be represented as fractions. All be represented as fractions. So, on that number line that we have there above, if I have 4 on 4, what is that the same as? One. Um, one. One. Yeah, it's the same as one. <laughs> Sorry. So if we have any number above itself, right? So we've got four on four there. If I have ten over ten, six over six, a hundred over a hundred, that's all equal to one. All equal to one. Next one, if I have say eight over four. What's that the same as? Half. One, oh, one whole. One and a half. Two. One two half, half, three sixes. Two. Whatever. Ah. Right? Eight, eight, eight on four. four. Wow. The big number is two. Okay. Now, something else that we can do, we can actually represent fractions in a different way too. We can do it visually. Okay. So we have a shape here. Divided into regions, equal area, some of them are shaded. What's our fraction? One. One. No, it's How many three sections? Three How many bits do we actually have? Three. Four. We have four, four bits in total. So our denominator is, three. is four. How many bits are shaded? Three. Three. Three, three. three out of four. Oh, yeah. Okay. So four parts. Total, three parts 